Well, everybody, it's about three days since I made my last video, and I want to show a little something that has been bugging a lot of guys in the uh, Mustang community, especially the 71 through 73. Um, you wouldn't know it just by looking at these cars, but they don't remanufacture these bezels, the bezel retaining nuts, <laughs> the knobs, or the... Uh, stems that go in here. They only make them for a 1970 and a 65-67-ish. I'm um, not too sure exactly the years of those, but they don't make them for the 71 through 73. Um, I was able to finally redo uh, this area uh, very carefully and very strategically. Um, at first glance, uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, even up close, I think it, it turned out pretty nice. Um, there's really no no problems anywhere. Fitment is perfect uh, around the board. Also, the cigarette lighter over here came out nice. I got another cigarette lighter I'm going to add there. But this, uh, let me bring it into focus here, See, it, it fits very nicely. Now, straight out of the box, uh, none of this stuff is going to fit right. Um, there's a reason why it specifically says for the 1970 Mustang. Um, first thing... Uh, that you're going to run into with these bezels when you get them out of the bag. They're going to look like they're going to fit, but there's a couple of, of differences between the 1970s model Mustang and the 71 through 73. And the first thing is, uh, these are all held in with bezel retaining nuts right here that you can see. I painted mine black for a reason. But these nuts um, rest against this metal edge that actually comes with the bezel. Now on the 70 model Mustang, it's right here at the surface of the chrome. Uh, on the 72 th or 71 through 73, the bezel uh, retaining ring is actually more recessed in the bezel. Uh, this creates quite a problem, um, especially when you get to the headlight switch here, which is what I'm going to focus the video on. Uh, number one, the bezel stem uh, that comes with the 1970 uh, model Mustang and the knob looks similar, but it's actually only four and a half inches. The one for the 71 through 73 is five inches. So you're, at first glance, everything's going to look like it's going to fit. But once you actually get it in here and you try to snap it in, you'll notice that there's, there's not enough room here for uh, missing half an inch of the stem. So you're going to have to remanufacture or refurbish your old stem, which is what I've done here. I've simply removed it, sanded it, painted it, and installed it. And you'd never know that every, anything was ever wrong with it. Um, so that's the first problem that you're going to run into. Uh, the second problem you're going to run into is you're going to try to put your uh, bezel retaining nut, which is this black uh, uh, piece sticking out here that looks like a Phillips head. You're going to try to put that on there, and it's not going to tighten into the bezel because the opening is too wide. So you're going to have to find some sort of a washer or a spacer to put in the bezel to hold the retaining cap or the retaining cup, and then also still be able to rest against the bezel nut. And that is... Uh, next to impossible feat uh, if you actually start digging around at the home improvement stores. There's actually a couple of posts online about guys trying to find the correct uh, washer that fits in there that doesn't show any space around it, which mine doesn't, and uh, still fits the bezel retaining nut. That's actually a good angle right there. Um, I want to share what I did to solve that problem. Home Depot and Lowe's, forget about it. You're not going to find it. Uh, what you need to do, you need to go to Northern Tool Supply or a shop that sells uh, machine bushings. Uh, a machine bushing is what's going to fit that. So let me walk over here real quick. Right here is the machine bushing that is the proper bushing to fit inside of that bezel. Now, let me see if I have... I don't have it in there. Let's take a look. I bought a couple of extra ones so I can show you guys what you're going to need. Here you go. This uh, bushing slash washer uh, is going to be the missing link that you need to attach that bezel retaining nut to the new uh, 70s bezel. Uh, it's a 5 8 by 1 by 18 gauge um, uh, hole size. And this right here is, is virtually the best fit you're going to find without manufacturing or refabricating your own. Uh, 69 cents at Northern Tool Supply. So... Here's the old stem, or here's the new stem, I should say, that comes with the 1970s uh, Mustang knob kit, and that's only four and a half inches. So pull the old, pull the new knob off of what comes with this, and put that on eBay or introduce it to the garbage can. 
So yeah, guys, nice little uh, little update here on the Mustang progress.